Hello everyone, welcome to another very very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be building this animation here. It's super cool and it's actually super easy. So in this tutorial I'm going to base this tutorial based off of uh, the tutorial that we did uh, last week on how to put items, in this case circles, around the circumference of a bigger circle so I'm going to start from there. Uh, if you haven't seen that tutorial, I strongly recommend looking at it. I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, we have the items we have on the circle. The next thing we have to do is obviously add another div here, which will be the circle that actually quite nicely move around. So basically, what happens now is that we need to tell this circle to basically go around and move in between these circles. The way to do that is I'm just I for example here we have eight elements, right? So we have a uh, number of elements in the SCSS we have the number of elements to be eight, right? So for the keyframe animation that we will have for this I'm just going to define like some variable here, like ca call it animation division. And basically this is going to be 100% divided by the num elements. And I'm going to tell you why. So basically you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 movements, right? And so divisions basically based on the animation keyframes which they are between 0 and 100 so you have to actually get the number of divisions here to be 100 uh, divided by the num elements and now I'm just gonna create a keyframes let's call it jump and then here using SCSS I'm just gonna do a for loop so I'm just gonna say from 4 I from 1 true num elements plus one right so I'm just gonna put this div now I have to basically create my uh, sort of percentages of the animations right or my steps in my keyframe here so well let's just start with the first one uh, using the interpolation in SCSS I'm just gonna say well basically I minus one which will be zero which is the starting point of our animation i'm just going to say obviously multiply by one percent because that's a percentage base so this is going to loop over but also the important thing here is that we need to basically add that division here so the, the division to be able to do that i'm just going to put a rot value to be zero and then at the end of this loop which is here I'm just gonna say rot equals to rot plus and that division that we have which is called animation division right and then I multiply this guy but by that rot value so if you take a look at the compile CSS, you will actually see, you don't see anything right now because I need to actually put something in here. So obviously we know that based on the previous tutorial, the way to put an element on the circumference of a circle is using rotate and then translate it half of the width of this bigger circle and then rotate it back, right? So I'm gonna just pretty much do the same here I'm just going to copy and paste this one instead obviously we have the rot which is correct and we have everything set up in terms of radius so what happens on each of those divisions so for example let's just go ahead and view the compiled here you'll see here you have 0 12.5 50 120 okay this is wrong so we only have basically 0 12 uh, we can't go over 100 percent and this is completely wrong so in order to fix this going back this value shouldn't be multiplied here right this is not even the thing that we need we have to put the division here the the animation division 
right? And then instead of this, <laughs> sorry, this instead of animation division, we actually have to put this angle here because we have like 360 degrees over a circle and we have eight uh, elements. So the sort of the divided angle between those circles is the angle here. So I actually need to add the angle instead here, not the division. So basically the animation division that we defined up here here, animation division is 100 by number of elements, which is correct because that gives us the steps that we need. So here I basically need to put this guy in parentheses. And let's see what kind of error we get. It says animation division is not defined, obviously, because this is an I. So now we will see that if I compile this CSS, you're going to see that I have the correct value. So we have 0. 12.5, 25%, and so forth. And the reason for that is, if I CDS CSS, is that we actually divided the 100, which is the keyframe scale, 0 to 100, by our number of elements, which is the steps of our animation, right? So now, what I need to do is pretty easy. I need to actually select that last div that we added here, the ninth one, the way I select it is I know that my num elements is eight up here, so I just need to add one. So container div nth child, and then use this interpolation syntax i, uh, basically, sorry, num elements plus one. So this selects the ninth element, and then I just need to define my animation, which is jump four seconds, infinite, and yeah, let's just put infinite. So you can see that now it actually works pretty nicely. So it kind of jumps basically based on this formula that we have put here. It actually on each step, it adds the angle, which is pretty much this, to the previous one. And then in the animation, we define it to be infinite. So it kind of moves over. And to be able to get this you know, GUI effect here, we're going to use this infamous SVG sort of filter, uh, paste it over here. Again, I'm going to put the link to this prototype down in the description, so don't worry. The name, the ID of the filter is GU, so I need to go to the container of this whole thing, which is this guy, container, and then the, the syntax is filter, URL, and then the ID goo right so now you will see how awesome this animation is and you can see that it's clockwise if you want it to be counterclockwise what you need to do is just to change the angle instead of going positive you change it to negative it will start going the other direction yeah so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I wish you the best day and night. Don't forget to subscribe again. I just started doing all these cool tutorials. And with your support, I can continue going on forever. Have a great day at night.